called The Story of the Detective Triangle Game. And I will let you decide at the end if this work is a language work or a geometry work. Say it now. Think about it while we're going through the story, okay? First things first, I want to tell you that in the middle of the night, something happened. A plant was knocked over. And I just had no idea who could have done it. But as I looked and looked and looked, I found in the dust on the windowsill an outline. An outline of a sheep. It left like a little sheep footprint in the dust on the windowsill. And can you guess what shape it was? I found in the dust on the windowsill a little footprint left behind from a triangle. Now I am very interested in figuring out who did this. Because knocking over plants is a big deal. If we knock over a plant, what can we do? Pick it up. Pick it up and make sure it's okay, right? Well, this naughty triangle did not. So I want to find out who did it. I have a way. I asked. Because I knew that in the middle of the night, we have all these tools in the classroom, right? And I knew someone must have seen who did it. So, I went to the geometry cabinet. And I pulled out the circle drawer. And I said, circle drawer, did you see who did it? And the circles in the circle drawer said, oh, you know, I saw something flash by. It ran right by. And I said, oh my gosh, can you give me any information? I already have this wanted poster for a triangle, but that's really hard. There are so many. Can you give me any information? And the circle said, you know what? The biggest circle said, I saw something red. I saw something red flash right by me. So I said to myself, I need to make a new wanted poster. What detail can I put into my wanted poster? I can say, wanted a red triangle. Now what I need to do is let's put all of the blue and yellow triangles back in this box. Because we're just looking for a red one, right? Let's put all the blue and yellow triangles in the box. Carefully, carefully. They have sharp edges, so we don't want to poke our friends. Oh, I put red No red. Silly me. No Oh, you guys are helpers. This works a lot faster when we have more friends. Okay, now let's review, because we know a lot about triangles now, don't we? Triangles have how many angles? Three. Yes, they have three. And we can have a cute a triangle or a deuce, right? Okay, and um, let's look at these angles. We see all the different angles, and we see all the different red triangles. Wait, did it actually happen here? It happened here. Now let me tell you, is this enough information for me to figure it out? Oh, there's just so many triangles that are red. And so, I went to the geometric solids. And I said, geometric solids, help me out. Did you see anything that could help me find out who did it? And guess who 
gave me the information? The triangular-based pyramid. The triangular-based pyramid said, it looked, it looked kind of small. It looked kind of small. It was a small triangle. I think it was a small triangle. And I said, oh, thank you, triangular-based pyramid. Now I need to change my wanted poster to say, what information? Small red triangle. Small red triangle. So now, the triangles that we can put back into the box, the grande and the medium ones, right? So let's just keep the small triangles out and let's put the big and the medium Wait, ones. is this a medium? Yes, it's a medium. Is this little or medium? That's little. Is this little? I'm keeping you in. No. But this one, you are definitely not. Whoa, you definitely don't go. Okay, we're going to have to reorganize that. Yeah, we'll have to reorganize this. Okay. So we have our small triangles out. What's your question, Natalia? Did this actually happen in real life? In real life. I don't know anything. Oh, I cleaned it up. Oh, I cleaned it up. Don't worry, I was not going to leave a turned over plant. I love plants. So, we've got some information now. But do we have enough information? No. We do not have enough information. So, I then decided to go into the line boxes. I went into the line boxes and I said, excuse me, lines, did you see who knocked over the plate? And the line said, well, you know, you know, it had, I noticed an angle as it walked off. The angle seemed to fit perfectly in the corner of the shelf. No, I already did. What angle would fit perfectly in the corner? Right angle. A right angle. Okay. Let's right see. Angle. Now, okay, now let's put all of the ones away that do not have a right angle. That do not have a right angle. Ma and we can make sure. How can we make sure? How can we make sure? You guys are putting a bunch of angles away. Test it out. Is this it? No, does it fit perfectly? Does this one fit perfectly? Yeah. Okay, is there another one that fits perfectly? Okay, so we've got two. Okay. So <laughs> I made a new wanted poster. And what did you what did you think I wrote? Oh, what did you think I wrote? Small red, right angle triangle. But friends, is that enough information? No, we still have two triangles. Oh, I can't figure it out. And so then I went into the box of sticks themselves. And we haven't used the box of sticks yet, but it's a very special tool. And there are many sticks in there. And I asked for sticks. I said sticks. Did you see anything that can help me out? I need to figure this out. And the stick said, well, as it walked away, it seemed different on all of its legs. All of its legs were just different. They were so different. I said, that is such good information. Now I know. Now I know exactly who it is. Which triangle has all different legs? What do we call it? Um, do you remember? A right angle. What type of triangle is it? Um, a right angle. Um, is um, a scalene. Scalene has all different angles because the triangle that has two legs that are the same is um, isosceles. Thank you for your input. So, in fact, who was our culprit? You. A small red right angle. Triangle, did we find the culprit? Yeah. We found it. How can all the things in this room talk? It's just a story, my friend. You were You right just story. said. I know, but I wanted you guys to have fun. <laughs> and we used our imagination for that one. Okay, so what I would like for us to do now is, Eloise, will you get three red 
colored pencils. Uh, we're going to trace it. We're going to trace it, and then we're going to...